we have this very odd moment of time now where the world has, by every single measure, except maybe short-term global financial flows, by every other measure you could imagine, the world is more interconnected. It's more interconnected than it was in 2007. I mean, the Great Recession took it all down in terms of the pace of interconnection, but the direction continued. So we've got the most interconnected world ever, and at the same time, we have the rise of nationalism. And you can see that in Russia, you can see that in the Ukraine, you can see that throughout the Middle East, you can see that all around the world, including in Scotland. And I don't, you know, to have the scalable platforms you're talking about, to have the global <coughs> trade and the flow of technology and the flow of ideas, which has led to this amazing technological revolution, you need international rules you you need rules uh, you know you need regional rules and sometimes you need international rules so for example one of the things that has completely slowed down right now are the two big trade talks one in the trans pacific one the transatlantic the transatlantic trade talks have have basically stalled because everybody has to turn their attention to the ukraine and russia mm -hmm. so I, I i really think we're at a moment in time when there's stress being put on the 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 development of and the maintenance of global systems which are required to allow this technology and all of the economic benefits of it to flow freely.